right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Here's the heavyweight wrestler Curtis Razor Blades representing Team Elevation there in Colorado. And here's a guy who, at least on paper, has more takedowns secured offensively than any fighter in UFC heavyweight history. You know, they talk about specialists. And at times, you find a guy that's so good at one skill that you know what's coming and you can't stop it. Curtis Blades is one of those guys. He's a national wrestling champion. He's very big. He's very skilled, and he has great cardio. The great cardio allows him to press this wrestling style on guys, and they can't keep up with him. He is solely one of the top five heavyweights in the world. And he's certainly got a good work rate for this heavyweight division. Works as hard in training as anybody. Still in search of that elusive first championship opportunity. Big spot for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Blades is eight years his senior. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You know, a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, effective strike there by Blades. Lands a big elbow there. Knee to the body. 
Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double chin. And a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Beautiful punch. Nice one-two combination there. Blades gets caught by that straight hand. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Huge knee lands from close. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. What a punch. Six total strikes have landed for Curtis Blades. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Massive head kick! Oh, single collar tie here. Boy, tie plug. Not there. Big leg kick land. The right hand just misses. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Throwing that jab, no good. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, nice right hand, John. Ooh, head kick lands. A little land a combination there. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? And they separate. Big head kick. 90 seconds now to go in the round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? And he gets the... He's gone! He's gone! He's gone! He's gone! Don't give up! Don't give up! Less than a minute now to go in round one. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Back to the feet now. Blades, his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And they separate. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Nice punch lands over the top. Blades gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Overhand punch to the head. Round two is next. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage 
without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes on top. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, doing a great job here defensively, and you've got to be of sound defensive mind to set up your counter shots. He is certainly feeling it in this round. Come on, relax and stay busy in that clinch. Blades has got the tie clinch now. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, did not put too much effort to finish. Great job. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bosch. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes on your opponent. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Curtis Blades. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Battle for position here. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Looking to land the leg kick now. Blades his lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Blades. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate. Blades his knee to the body. That one was blocked. Nice punch, Lance. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. And that one certainly found the target. Again, they clinch. Round three next. All right, that's the end of the round. So the complexion of this one may have changed a little bit. You see the cut above his eyes sustained in that round. One of the best cut men in the business. He'll get in there and try to close it up before it becomes a bigger issue than it already is. 
All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Single collar tie oh, now. Master of the transition. Nice scramble. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, and he does a great job of that. Can't take many of those. You better check. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, knee to the head. Nice sneaky head kick. Great punch. Oh, big knee! He's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. No! Oh, my God! Oh! We march on three minutes to go. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he didn't like that. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Well-placed kick there by Blades. Right hook to the head blocked. And they separate. Try to establish that jab. And he landed the right hand there. A single collar tie there. Big punch from the clinch. And they separate. He blocks the punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Good finish this fight. Man! Tries to mix in a takedown here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Single collar tie. Nice straight punch. Right under the elbow, the body kick land. Pretty good right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right on the button. 
Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Beautiful strike. You got to check these low leg kicks. Break no more strikes. Break no more, no more, no more, no more. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is now underway. DC, Ready? any major takeaways Ready? after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also... Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to change that finish down. Oh, he tasted that knockout life! He tasted the knockout life! He's done, he's done! <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.